Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to talk about something that we uh, often deal with, and that is unpleasant circumstances. I was doing a devotion out of Henry Blackaby, and he used a passage of Scripture that I would like to pass on to you this morning, and that's Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Sometimes as Christians, we think that everything we go through is a spiritual battle, but not everything that we go through is a spiritual battle. Sometimes it's more of a discipline issue. Sometimes we're learning from God things that we should not do and why we should not do them. Uh, sometimes the things that we face is because we've made bad choices. What we have sown, we have reaped. Not everything that happens to us is a result of a bad choice, but some things are, and those things can be easily identified. When we uh, see things going wrong in our life and we ask ourselves if it's a direct result of a decision that I made, well, we know that that can be a simple discipline that God has allowed to come into our life. One of the mistakes that we make as parents is that we try to protect our children from every bump in the road and make their life as painless and easy as possible. That's a natural tendency that we have. But one thing we should know is that if we take away every pain, every bruise, every scrape, and we protect our children, wrap them in a bubble and protect them, then they will pay for that later because of the decisions that we've made. We all have to go through hardships in life to learn to better ourselves, to learn to improve, to learn what we're not to do, to learn not to repeat the same mistakes that we have made once. Sometimes God allows us to do things that we really shouldn't do because he gives us free will and because it teaches us not to do them again. But as a Christian, we quickly attribute those things to spiritual warfare, and we get angry sometimes at God when we ask God to remove them, and he does not. When we ask God to fix the situation, and he does not. But the thing is this, God may not immediately remove the situation, but the situation is often fixed because we've learned not to repeat the same mistake again. And sometimes the pain and the agony that we go through is part of that. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, it says this, For whom the Lord loves, he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. We go through a process of learning, and, and, and we mold, we're molded into his image. And sometimes those changes come in a very painful way. Change is always hard. And we do not like change. We're creatures of habit. We often criticize the older generation because they do not like to change. Well, I must admit, the younger generation doesn't like to change either. It's not really a generational issue. It's not a gender issue. It is a discomfort issue that causes us not to want to change. When we go through these things in life, it teaches us critical and vital lessons that are important for our future decisions and actions. And so today, if you're facing something as a result of a bad decision, please know that God may not remove it and probably won't, but he will mold you and change you through the decision that you've made by teaching you why you should never have made that decision and why you should not make it again. It's hard. It's painful but it's a life-changing encounter. God has a plan for your life and for mine. Now trust him to get you through what you're going through. Don't ask him to remove it. Ask him to teach you through it so that you don't have to repeat this life lesson. Remember this, my friends. The Lord Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, I thank you today that you allow us to learn and I pray today that we learn with enthusiasm and with faith and understanding that you are our hope and our deliverer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.